The military of any country accounts to be the most important infrastructure as it has the responsibility of protecting the country from any sorts of threats. It is also responsible for providing security of the citizens, as after the internal defense forces, military is the most powerful institution. Today we are exclusively talking about the Batmobile of American Navy. It is one of the most exclusive machines that the Navy is using currently. Also, for a country like the United States of America, which is surrounded by waters on almost all sides, the Navy of such a country has to be very well prepared on time for any sort of demanding situation. This futuristic naval ship definitely looks like something that the Dark Knight would use to lift Penguin, but is not a bat boat or any other unusual machine. It is an M80 stiletto and it's believed that the American Navy will soon use this ship to defeat all its enemies who attack in the waters. We can also visualize it as the future and more developed version of Higgins' boat that the Allied forces had used when they had attacked the beaches of Normandy. It's believed that this ultra-fast boat would be so much useful in preparing for futuristic modern wars. One of the most interesting facts about this boat is that it can go to those places where other machines cannot ever reach. This makes it dynamic and advantageous over other boats and machines. Here we are going to look at the intrinsic details of this M80 stiletto and you're going to witness everything from the crew quarters to the bridge. As we know that this is a very futuristic boat, so we're going to show you the high-tech gadgets that are installed in this boat to make it the most efficient. Before that, one interesting fact for all of you, this giant boat cost $6 million. Yes, that's right, $6 million. Exterior of the M80 Stiletto. Talking about the exterior features of the boat, it's about 88 feet long and 40 feet wide. It is gigantic and definitely an absolute beast which would eat up all the enemies. The ship is also claimed to be very powerful and fast and the credit goes to 1650 horsepower engines. The whole body of the boat is built of carbon fiber which makes it strong and sturdy. And it's good that it is made of carbon fiber and not steel or aluminum, otherwise it would not have reached a faster speed of 50 knots. Another amazing thing about this boat is its Paragon Pentameron hull design. It also consists of aerodynamic M-shaped holes which help it maintaining the stability of the whole boat, especially during rough seas. The water spirals through the tunnels creating vertical lift. The low draft of M80 tends to allow itself to operate in very shallow waters as well. This proves that this is the most adaptive boat and it is definitely a perfect craft for Navy SEALs and it will be extremely significant for covert missions. This boat can also make emergency beach landings and function in shallow waters like rivers as well. Also, this boat is packed with a lot of firepower. The front part of the ship has 20 millimeter gun installed. Apart from there is also an MK-38 Mod 2 machine gun mounted on the starboard side of the ship and surprisingly there's one installed on the port side as well. Just above the bridge is a Drone Sentry X anti-drone system. This basically helps in fighting against drone swarms. Top Deck Let's have a look at the top deck of the ship. It has a UAV launch and landing area. This is the area where the Navy SEALs launch their surveillance drones. At the back of the deck area, one can find a UAV landing system. The huge net is basically used to find drones after they have the necessary information for which they were actually launched. American Navy SEALs particularly launch Silver Fox drones, but the deck has the capacity to accommodate large-sized drones as well, so one must not doubt the capacity of the deck. It is large enough for accommodating even helicopter-sized drones like the $18.2 million dollar Northrop Grumman MQ-8 Fire Scout. If we talk about the Silver Fox drones, then they have a very limited range, so sometimes what happens is that the big guns like Fire Scout have to be used in order to capture a large dimension. The Bridge Next is the fascinating bridge of the M80 Stiletto. The bridge of this futuristic ship is all decked with high-quality, high-technology communication devices. For example, UHF SATCOM and Gigabit Land Communication Technology allows the Navy SEALs to easily connect with the Pentagon, the Defense Department of the United States of America. Also, with the help of this technology, the communication is lag-free and there is no disturbance caused. Looking at the center of the bridge, then one will see the primary helm. 
This is the place where the captain and the executive officer are seated during all the missions. This place is exclusively designed for them. There is also an engineering station which is located on the port section of the bridge and the navigation helm of the ship is located on the starboard of the ship. Also, at the back of the bridge lies the command and control center of the ship which is responsible for actually controlling and running the ship. There are two stairwells in the inside of the ship which lead to the interior of the ship and this interior section consists of the living quarters of the crew who is on board. It also has a crew area for the crew members. The bridge of the ship really seems to be strong, sturdy, and well equipped with all the essential features. Interiors The interiors of the ship consist of various crew quarters and executive cabins. These are located on the starboard side of the M80 Stiletto. There are in total 12 bunkers in the crew quarters and two in the executive cabin. There are also passenger quarters on the port side of the living area. It is the place where the rescued hostage or other kinds of non-military personnel reside. Whenever the M80 is out for a mission and deployed for an unexpectedly longer mission, the cargo can be then changed into an additional living space for people. It also consists of a galley conference room, lavatory, and mess hall, which are located in the center of the living area. Now let's talk more about the cargo area. The ship has a 2,000 square foot cargo area. The payload capacity is handy on various secret missions. The cargo area consists of a rigid hull inflatable boat worth $1 million. The RHIB exits in the waters through the well deck. The crane and cargo handling system pull the boat to take it back when the mission gets completed. On the port side, there are more aquatic crafts such as rubber raiding crafts, three Remus, 100 UUVs, and three MK-18 Mod 2 Kingfish UUVs. Well, that was really quite surprising and overwhelming at the same time. While United States of America accounts to have the largest army, so it definitely deserves to deploy such machinery in the defense of the country and its citizens.